I don't know that I could say anything uh, more powerful than what you just heard from the families. This is a, a disease that is impacting every single American uh, throughout our country. It's an epidemic. As we look at the opioid problem that, and the heroin addiction and overdoses that are happening uh, on a daily basis, 129 families that get shattered on a daily basis. I want to thank Senator Portman uh, for his leadership in the Senate. I want to thank Frank Ginta and Annie Custer. And frankly, I want to thank so many that are back home that are working day in and day out, bringing stakeholders together, treatment facilities that are trying to address as best they can this disease. I want to talk for a second just about Tina and Chris Franco who are here with us today from Mundelein, Illinois. This is not just a problem. This is, there's a face to the thousands, to the millions that have been impacted. Gabriel Franco was, again, a good student, had his whole life in front of him. And at 25, in the process of going through recovery, was overdosed and, and died from a heroin overdose. We see the faces that are here behind us. As a father, I can tell you, there is nothing worse I can even think of than losing a child. My bill, Lolly's Law, which was part of the 18 different bills that were packaged together, is really aimed at trying to make sure that we're getting naloxone more readily available all across the country. Naloxone is the antidote to a heroin overdose. In essence, trying to give people a second chance at recovery. But there are so many good pieces of legislation, and again, this is a step forward. It's not the step, but I do believe that when we can come together, we have an opportunity to save lives. I want to thank the 129 families. I want to thank you for your strength. I want to thank you for coming to Washington to share your stories. There isn't anything that we can do to bring back those that you've lost. But we can certainly take a huge step forward to make sure that no family has to go through what you've gone through. This is our goal. This is not partisan. This knows no socioeconomic bounds. This knows no racial bounds. This is everywhere around our country. And frankly, this epidemic is growing by leaps and bounds. I want to thank the media for being here because we have a huge educational campaign that needs to happen. I'm still amazed when we talk to parents that they don't believe that they have a problem in their community. We have a problem in our community. And I'm delighted that we're able to be here today to try to address it. So again, I want to thank you for being here. Please know that we need your help and support going forward. Uh, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you to try to accomplish this. Through our conference committee, we aim to put this on the president's desk as quickly as possible because every minute that we wait, someone else has an opportunity to pass away and that family will be shattered. Thank you.